Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my another video. And in this video, we are going to talk about top five Node.js framework. So you might uh, be aware that Node.js is server side for JavaScript, and we use Node.js to build a server side runtime environment, right? And what are top five framework which are popular in the today's world? Okay, like if you want to build APIs, GraphQL APIs, REST APIs, or maybe server side systems then what kind of framework you are going to use next. So there are many. We, we are just going to talk about what are top five. So top five I will talk about first is vanilla Node.js uh, where you are not using any framework and you are just using some HTTP library provided by Node.js core. Right and because sometimes people want performance and they don't use any frame, framework at all and they just write as basic APIs when you are not when you are not building a complex system then you can just use a node.js core HTTP library to build a simple API okay second we have like okay I really want to have MVC and all those things a web framework then you will start using express and this time you are not just going to use express obviously you will use express typescript and some kind of ORM solutions you will also attach because you also going to persist the data. So in the ORM you can use SQLize, Type ORM, Prisma or uh, there are many ORMs like Pico ORM and uh, Miko ORM. I don't know the names but there are many ORMs available right now. Next. So I will just put some few names. Next. SQLize. Type ORM. And Prisma which is also popular. These are uh, different ORMs which are available. So this is Express TypeScript right now. Uh, we are using Express which is a web framework provide MVC structure where you create a route services controllers. But it's not opinionated right you can design the Express in your own way. You can have your own set of older structure. The only thing is you need to create an Express instance and at the end app.lation and register the middleware using app.use but you can design this express api code in your own way i mean if you see the 10 developers then you might see the 10 developers are writing the express apis in 10 different possible ways so to enforce the constraint we can use a nest.js which is really a typescript heavy framework uh, provided for the node.js developer and that's really getting very popular I mean, I'm using Nest.js since last uh, three to four years and it's really popular. I'm not writing an Express TypeScript or Koa, Restify, HappyJS. Nest.js is giving us a proper modular structure. If you have used Angular where we are were creating a modules, controllers, services, factories and all. All those good concepts are with the Nest.js. And I will say you must start using Nest.js from today. You must start using it if you are uh, using node.js then next we have is uh, restify i mean i i i would have used other framework also but restify recently gained a lots of popularity restify is also kind of a same as you see express there are some differences how we register the middleware how we create api routes how we just create a uh, simple services but restify is a kind of similar but when it comes to the performance there is a, some differences with the express or nest.js nest.js provides a support because nest.js is something which is built on top of express and it provides adapter for both the both the framework you can use a restify adapter or express adapter with the nest.js nest.js is a framework uh, which provides you lots of things nest.js schedule nest.js event emitter nest.js common nest.js core if you have used angular then it's very easy to learn nest.js and understand the the things concepts about nest.js nest.js middleware interceptors pipes all those concepts are there which makes your code more modular and when you see the syntax you easily understand what's going on restify is another lightweight framework and i think the performance wise restify is uh, on the edge when we compare with express and all then we can use a koa I will use a HappyJS. HappyJS I have used in past and that's also really popular but not that much. It gains uh, lots of attention but now either people tend to use Express or maybe Restify or Nest.js. 
then there is a Kua, Restify, Kua JS, Sales JS, and there are many loopback and all. I will not talk about them. I'm not even sure if they are maintained properly, but these are the framework which you can focus on. I will just try to zoom it a little bit so you can get uh, more view. Yes, so these are like uh, primary things which you should focus on. And I will say if you are not using uh, Nest.js, then you start using Nest.js for building the APIs, either a GraphQL, either a simple microservices. Nest.js provide extensive, very nicely designed microservices, which provides a different transport using uh, Kafka, Redis, RabbitMQ, TCP, and all different kind of uh, synchronous and asynchronous view of communication between different services. And Express, Express is always a king, right? Because Express is a backbone of everything. Nest.js is also built on top of Express. So you can use Express, Express TypeScript. But now don't write Express JavaScript MVC. Always use TypeScript. And if you want to use TypeScript, uh, there are typo or uh, there are ORMs like Prisma, heavily on TypeScript. And you should, you should start using TypeScript with a Express framework. I mean, there is an Express TypeScript generator you can use, which gives you TypeScript boilerplate and you can bootstrap your application. Or if you want really uh, enrich TypeScript with a modular structure, use Nest.js. Don't give a thought about anything else because not each and every API needs a millions of requests per second. And Nest.js is capable enough. You can use Nest.js with a Restify or with the Express. If you see, okay, Restify can give you some edge over Express. You can use that. Nest.js provides these both the adapters. Okay. So that's it. Uh, these are the top five framework. And if you want to learn, I have lots of content on all these framework on my channel. Uh, thank you, everyone.